sacrificed their lives at Karbala. Attar say salam to all of them. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyid al-Mursaleen. Amma ba'd. فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله Dear Islamic brothers, dear viewers, listeners of Madani channel Please lower your gaze Listen to the dars with full concentration Because by looking here and there by playing on the floor with your fingers or by messing around with your clothes, body or hair, it is possible you may not gain all the blessings. There are many, many virtues, abundant fadail and blessings in sending salawat and durood upon our Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It is reported in Al-Qawlul Badi' in the summary of hadith, our beloved master, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam stated, that person who recites the Ruchri, Salawat or salutations upon me 50 times daily, I will shake hands with him on the Day of Judgment. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Indeed, there are many, many great incidences, many great events which took place on this blessed day of Ashura. There are many excellences of Ashura as well. Our Shaykh al Tariqat, Amir Ahl Sunnat, Tamil Barakatuhum al Aliyah, has given us, has listed many events which took place or will take place on this blessed day, the day of Ashura. On the 10th of Muharram al Haram, the day of Ashura. Repentance of Sayyidina Adam ala Nabiyyina wa alayhi salatu salam was acknowledged. On this day, Adam ala Nabiyyina wa alayhi salatu salam was born. And on this day, he alayhi salam entered into Jannah. On this day, the Arsh, that is the divine throne of Allah Azza wa Jal, the Kursi, the sky, the earth, the sun, the moon, the stars and heavens, they were created. On this day, Sayyidina Ibrahim ala Nabiyyina wa alayhi salatu salam was also born and he alayhi salam was saved from that fire lit by Namrud. On this day, Sayyidina Musa ala Nabiyyina wa alayhi salatu salam and his ummah, they were saved from Pharaoh, from Fir'aun. And Fir'aun was drowned along with his army, with his people. On this blessed day, Sayyidina Isa, Ruhullah, ala Nabiyyina wa alayhi salatu salam was also born. On this day, he alayhi salam was raised up towards the heavens. On this day, Sayyidina Nuh, ala Nabiyyina wa alayhi salatu salam's ark parked or was placed on the Mount of Judi. On this day, Sayyidina Sulaiman, ala Nabiyyina wa alayhi salatu salam was bestowed with a great kingdom. On this day, Sayyidina Yunus, ala Nabiyyina wa alayhi salatu salam was brought out of the stomach or the belly of the whale. On this blessed day, the eyesight of Sayyidina Ya'qub ala Nabiyyina wa alayhi salatu salam was restored. On this blessed day, Sayyidina Yusuf ala Nabiyyina wa alayhi salatu salam was taken out from the deep well. On this day, Sayyidina Ayyub ala Nabiyyina wa alayhi salatu salam was relieved from his affliction. On this day, rain showered from the sky for the first time, the very first time. The psalm, the fasting on this day was common even amongst previous ummats. It is said that the psalm and the fasting on this day was compulsory, was fard in those times when the suyam of the blessed month of Ramadan was not farud, but it was later revoked. On the day of Ashura, Sayyidina Imam Hussain radiyallahu ta'ala anhu, 
his beloved sons and companions were all brutally martyred on the plains of Karbala after being kept starved for three consecutive days. It is narrated by Sayyidina Abu Huraira radiyallahu ta'ala anhu that the Noah of the unseen, the immaculate Prophet sallallahu ta'ala anhi wa alayhi sallam had stated, leaving Ramadan, the fast of Muharram is most superior. Leaving Ramadan, the fast of Muharram is most superior. And the most superior salah after the Farud salah is Salatul Layl. That is Nawafil salah offered during the night. The embodiment of Noor, the comforter of the souls. The Holy Prophet ﷺ has stated, the fast of every day of Muharram is equal to the fast of one month. Subhanallah. Sallu ala al-Habib. Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Sayyidina Abdullah ibn Abbas Radiyallahu ta'ala anhuma Has stated I never saw Rasulullah Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam So enthusiastic To observe the fast Highlighting excellences To any day As much as he would For the day of Ashura And the month of Ramadan Subhanallah Azza wa Jal. Our beloved Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi wa Sallam stated, Observe fast on the day of Ashura and oppose the Jews, oppose the others in this by observing an additional fast one day before or one day after it. Whenever one is to observe the fast of Ashura, remember it is better for him to fast on either the 9th or 11th of Muharram in addition to the 10th of Muharram. It has been reported by Sayyidina Abu Qatada radiyallahu ta'ala anhu that the most exalted Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam said, I expect from Allah azza wa jal that the fast on Ashura removes the sins of the previous year. Subhanallah. Mufti Ahmad Yar Khan Rahmatullah ta'ala ali has stated if a person fasts on the 9th and 10th of Muharram al-Haram he will indeed get immense rewards. If a person cooks good food for his family inshallah azza wa jal blessings shall prevail in the household for the entire year. Subhanallah. It is better to cook kichra and to perform Fatiha for Sayyidina Imam Hussain radiyallahu ta'ala anhu. This has been proven to be very beneficial. On this date, that is the 10th of Muharram al-Haram, if one performs ghusl, inshallah azza wa jal, he will remain safe from illnesses for the entire year. Because on this day, the water of Zamzam reaches all waters, subhanallah. The Prophet of Mercy, the intercessor of the Ummah, the owner of Jannah, Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Sallam, has stated, whoever applies ithmad, kuhul, that is surma, to his eyes on the day of Ashura, his eyes will never suffer any pain or ache. Subhanallah Azza wa Jal. Dear Islamic brothers, Dear viewers and listeners of Madani channel, indeed, this day of Ashura is a very blessed day. As we had heard already, many, many great events have taken place. And what is directly affecting us is this event of Karbala, where the grandson, so blessed was he to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Imam Hussein radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he was martyred mercilessly. The Ahlul Bayt Ridwan, mercilessly were martyred. We must make, always make dua in the court of Allah Azza wa Jal to keep us lovers and obedient, obedient slaves to Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, to Sahaba Ikram alayhi Ridwan, to Ahlul Bayt alayhi Ridwan. Inshallah ta'ala, in doing so, 
we shall be successful inshallah azza wa jal in this dunya in the qabr in the akhirah inshallah azza wa jal ameen bijahin nabiyil ameen sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam sallu ala al habib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam upon the ones who sacrificed their lives at Karbala Attar say Salam